YouTube. Afternoon, fellas. Ferocious MGTOW here. And I decided to come over to the truck top, uh, truck stop. Can't even talk this morning, or this afternoon. In uh, Baytown, I just wanted to show y'all uh, how full this parking lot is. It's, um, let's see what time is this here. It's uh, one o'clock here. Let me see, make sure I got on. Make sure, hold on, let me check and make sure I'm on the right. There we go, make sure I'm on the right, uh, yeah, I'm on the right thing. Make sure my uh, my internal computer is on drive, because you gotta program it to be on drive. You don't like it just to take off and not let it be uh, programmed to be on drive. But I just wanna show y'all you see back there in the background, all the plants. <clears throat> the lot is not completely full, but it's really full. I haven't started my day yet because this load picks up at three o'clock. So right now it's going on one. And I'm about seven miles from the terminal. So I said, let me come over here and uh, get some fuel and uh, get back in time so I can pick up my load. Just to give you all an idea of all the plants, look at all them stacks back there in the background. Y'all see? This is why I was saying like Houston is really big if you needed work. So you guys that's in these small towns and in small areas and the work is very limited and you can't do the things that you want to do because your money is limited also you know look into getting out of there save up some money get in a truck and uh that can get you up out of there you know what i mean find a trucking company like i was telling you before there's a couple of schools companies that have schools that'll bring you down i know uh stevens transport they based in dallas texas so that'd be a good start. Go to their school, and then that way you can be based out of Texas, and then just move on down here. Uh, because you're gonna have plenty of work, and they got a tanker, tanker division. They got the uh, refrigerated unit, and they have box truck. So that'd be an excellent company to start with. If you in a dead end job, or you in a dead end community, or because I looked at the uh, news reports this morning and they were saying that uh, I was wrong with my numbers. They said there's 10 million people filed for uh, unemployment benefits. So, <clears throat> that's a lot of people, a lot of people. So, um, you know, it's one of those things. You guys gotta be willing to move around. You know, one area is not serving you and you're not able to live the, the lifestyle that you that you know that you're entitled to, then be willing to move. Don't, don't just stay in on one area. That's one thing I realized by being on this road. Like, I could pretty much go to any area and make it. Okay? I can go to any area and make it. As long as it's got plenty of uh, jobs and this is it. You know, there's plenty of space, space down here. The weather is nice. There's plenty of jobs. And uh, this place has everything you want. Texas has everything you need, everything you want. Weather, jobs, uh, you know, you can ride your motorcycle. If you ride motorcycles year round. So, you know, don't, don't feel like you guys got to be stuck in some small area, you know, venture out, that's what me making these runs and me showing you all, you know, you get to see, these areas are beautiful, you don't see nobody, you don't see no uh, drug runners, and I don't be running into people doing crazy stuff, I'm usually in very safe environments, you know, be worried about nothing. 
and I, you know, I make good decisions. Look at all them towels back there. That was on my left and on my right. Ain't nothing but work over here. Nothing but work. So yeah, today is payday. I don't know. I don't wanna sound like I'm bragging, but hey, today is payday. I don't know. Some of you guys probably didn't receive a paycheck this, uh, this day. It's another reason why you should seriously think about what I'm showing you guys. You know? Nobody really showed me this stuff. I had a guy, a little backstory. I had a guy who used to come into my store. I used to run a convenience store. And it was, I told the story before, but I got a lot of new people now, so I think it's time for me to tell it again. And uh, the store was underperforming. And so I had a customer who used to come in and he would always buy quite a bit of stuff. I think he just liked my personality, one. And then two, the stuff that I, I sold was really quality stuff. So uh, he would spend like, you know, a hundred bucks or whatever time, every, every time he would come in, he would spend a hundred dollars. But when he, the thing that caught my attention was every time he would pay, he would reach in his pocket, he would have like, uh, being like just a roll of brand new hundred dollar bills. I was like, wow. So I was like, man, maybe I should do what you're doing. Because at first I thought he was selling drugs. He's like, oh, you don't want to do what I'm doing. I'm like, yeah, you're probably right. I'm, <laughs> I don't want to do that. He's like, no, it ain't nothing like that. He said that he was an owner operator selling, you know, with his own trucks. Now keep in mind, this is a young guy, you know. I think at that time I was what? Uh, 40, 48. 49, when I had this conversation with him, he was like 29. I was like, wow, this young brother has things on the ball. <clears throat> and because he just kept talking to me, we developed a friendship. And he said, man, go get your CDL. You're going to make a lot of money in trucking. I'm like, I probably can't make no money in trucking. These guys just be talking. Uh, he was not just talking. Okay, you got to get out here and work. You got to... Uh, you gotta be willing to sacrifice. You gotta be willing to commit to quality. Uh, you gotta put forth a commitment. But if you're willing to do these things and perform at a high level, you'll have no problem getting with a company and moving right up to the top. A lot of guys say, oh man, that company there is no good. That company there is no good. The reason why them guys be saying that type of thing is because they don't know how to get in a company and work their way up to the top. That's what I'm good at. I get in a company, I figure out the rules, I figure out the angles, I look at the loopholes, I look at who uh, that I need to be uh, partnering with, and I just make sure I be on that person's good side. I don't do any brown nose or anything, just do my job at a high level, and then I give all the credit to my managers. I don't try to take the credit. <clears throat> I always give them the credit. And that feeds into anybody's ego because most of the people that's going to be in management are going to be narcissists. So all you got to do is feed into their ego. You know what I mean? And uh, you get all the loads you want. You get to go where you want. You get to make as much money as you want. You get to uh, pick the routes, the lanes, okay, the loads. Right? You get to pick your days off. All of that. So it ain't so much about which company you go to. Guys get all bent out of shape about, oh, that company there is no good. That company there is no good. Because they haven't learned how to get in a company and work their way from the bottom to the top. Okay? I'm one of the top guys over here. I'm a top producer. That's what you got to pride yourself on, being a top producer. No matter where I go, I don't care how many guys work at this company. I think it's about maybe 5,000 of us. And I'm right up there at the very top. Right up there with the very top. Okay? Because I don't 
I don't get tickets. I don't have accidents. I'm rarely ever late. Um, I cover for my managers when they make mistakes. I own up to their mistakes, which gives them this, uh, this uh, level of loyalty that's just unmatched. So if I make a mistake, they're gonna cover for me, see? I think ahead, okay? I look out for the managers. They make a mistake, cause they get tired, they gotta keep up with a whole bunch of guys. Okay, so they're gonna make mistakes. So what I do is, I, when I, when I discover there's a mistake, I just go ahead and correct it and don't even bring it up again. Later on down the line, they'll realize, like, damn, I made a mistake with that. But it got handled properly. You know what I'm saying? Ferocious MGTOW on top of it. So when I ask for something, you know, send me to Texas, I get it. Send me here, I get it. I want this weekend off, I get it. Okay? So it don't matter which company you go to. You go there and you become a superstar, okay? And when guys need help, be willing to help them. Guys call me all the time, need help. Oh man, uh, have you ever been in this place? Yeah, I've been there. How do I get there? What do I do when I get there? I have no problem telling them. And I do the same thing. We get new accounts or whatever, and I haven't serviced that account before, I'll call somebody, hey, have you did this account before? Oh yeah, I've done that. Hey, well run me through what I'm supposed to do. I don't, want to, I don't want to get there looking unprepared, looking like a rookie, okay? I want to represent the company well. I want to represent myself well. These are the things that we have to do as grown men. These are the things we have to do. So I just kind of want to turn this on and just kind of give you guys a pep talk. But today is, uh, thank God it's Friday, and I'm getting ready to roll back to the yard, pick up my load. Just wanted to show y'all this sub, uh, suburb, south, I mean, uh, what is this, Baytown. Baytown and Pasadena. And you see it's getting back to normal. The traffic is almost getting back to normal now. So it is what it is. It's time to get to work, guys. They're gonna open back up this thing. So this will be y'all chance. When they open up the DMVs, they open up these schools, they open, you should be calling companies now. Y'all should be doing research. You know what I mean? So let's, what's to say if we won't go through this situation again? Okay. I'm sure it's gonna be pandemics in the future. What are we gonna do? I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be ready. I'm gonna be ahead of this thing. Okay. But I'm, I'm not going to take things for granted. Ride on, ride on, ride on. Keep riding, buddy. I guess you don't have to have a helmet here because he ain't got no helmet on. Got a nice bike. Nice bike, sir. Nice bike. But yeah, all right, guys. I didn't want to keep you long. I just wanted to show you out a little bit of my day. And I know you guys enjoy the ride alongs. You get to see different parts of the country. So when I leave about a Texas, <coughs> when I leave about a Texas, I'll uh, turn it back on because I think I gotta go through. I want to say I gotta go through Arkansas, then Missouri. So I might show you a little bit of Arkansas, then a little bit more Missouri, so you all can get an idea of what these other states are looking like, just so you can see the difference in level and uh, how some states are. Richard in other states, you're gonna see the difference. When I roll through those states, you're gonna see how um, depressed and, and how those areas are, are basically dying. So you gotta move to the better areas. So it's gonna be another reason why you guys can move to better areas. All right, I'm gonna cut it off here. I'll turn it back on when I pick up my load. Talk to y'all then, peace.